fight Cyborg. Uh, that's mm-hmm. kind of, but hey, look, she's getting a title shot. So uh, that's, that's pretty cool. So I'm calling Tanya Evinger right now. Uh, I hope Tanya wins. I think Tanya, uh-huh. can, hey, Tanya Evinger. Hey, how are you guys? Good. You're on the MMA Roasted Podcast. It's me and the fight professor, Steve Quadros. Hey, guys. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're doing great, man. I, I man, I'm a woman. I, I can't wait to fi- to watch your fight. I'm trying to get tickets. I, uh, I hit up Dana. I'm trying to get tickets. I'm so excited for you to fight Cyborg. I'm so happy for you that you finally. Are, I mean, this is going to be the, probably the best card of the year. The biggest fight, Cormier. You're going to have so many eyes on you. You went from like literally working, uh, you know construction to now being in the main event on the biggest card of the year congratulations for that by the way thank you thank you i wish i i wish we ended up making more money in the long run because uh then i wouldn't have to go back to doing construction but you know <laughs> you know how it goes <laughs> right right now now how did this happen did now when did you find out about it did you even think twice about it uh talk to me uh yeah they, they called me that uh weekend right before uh Right before I signed, and they actually released it. What they released on Monday or something like that. Um, they called me that weekend, and and my manager asked me. And obviously, I have the same manager as Chris. So uh, when he called me, he's like, "This is kind of weird for me to hear," or, or you know, I, "I I don't know how you take this." And obviously, man, I, I'm there to fight, so I'm gonna take any fight. Um, I definitely am not afraid to to you know fight people. So that's never been a problem. I'm just there to fight. So. I'm going to take whatever job pays the most. Let's do it. Now, um, I, mean, I mean, now, was there any doubt? Did you, did you actually think about it? Do you have to, like, think about it or, like, you know, think it over? Were you going back and forth? Or you just said yes right away? No, I said yes. I mean, I don't, I don't have uh, – I think, you know, like I said in uh, several interviews, you know, I'm, I've been, like, thinking about this fight for a while. I, I think that um, it was something that's kind of been thrown in front of me, like, would you fight her? Would you fight her? You know, quite a few times. And, and obviously every time I said, yes, you know, I, I, I just can't let like fear of somebody be a reason I don't fight or I would never fight. You know what I mean? I think that, that it's scary all around. So I just want to get in there and, and, uh, you know, I'm a prize fighter. I fight for money. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody that I've talked to that has fought cyborg says to me after the fight, I've never been hit that hard in my life. Uh, how are you preparing for this? Um, you know, them people, I think that you, if you watch your fights, man, they go in there to get hit. I don't go into fights to get hit. I go in there to, to win fights. I don't go in there to, to have a battle back and forth. And, and I think my fighting style shows that. And I usually come out of the fights untouched. So I think that, um, I'm completely different on that, that end of the spectrum. You know, I'm not going to go in there and then cover up and, and take some punishment. That ain't, that ain't the kind of game I play. So I, you know, I I, um, I get hit every day by guys. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure she don't hit as hard as most of the guys in my gym. Maybe some of the guys I hit harder than some of the guys. But uh, you know, I I've been hit pretty hard, and and it is what it is. And uh, I don't know, I hit pretty hard too, man. Tanya, uh, last time I saw you, uh, it was in Elite XC, and it was in Hawaii, and you fought Gina Carano. How is Cyborg different than Gina? Uh, man, that was a long time ago. To even talk about that fight is, is, um, a little, uh, ridiculous. I, I think that, uh, you know, that whole fight was, was weird. They brought me in. She didn't make weight. They didn't have a community. They didn't give a shit that she didn't make weight. Um, they just kind of told me, oh, well, you either fight or you don't. And at the time I was young and I had a, a shitty ass manager that didn't know what the hell he was doing. And, and, uh, you know, he just told me I didn't have no choice. And, and, uh, then they put me in a locker room and then they came in and said, no, they got to got to come over here and warm up and put me in another locker room. And then they came back and said, no, you got to warm up outside in this tent. So they kind of uh, fucked with my head the whole fight. And, you know, I, I did an interview on um, some other things that happened. Obviously I don't want to repeat them because that dipshit keeps trying to sue me over it. So, uh, you know, um, there's a lot of things that happened that event that, that I didn't even want to fight. I, I just wasn't uh, in the right frame of mind and I, I wasn't uh, there to fight. I just wanted to get out of there and, and whatever, you know, so. You know, I think there are things that I've, I've grown past and, and um, you know, I learned how to deal with and stuff like that. And, and uh, you know, whatever. I'm here today and, and I've obviously kind of had my, my downfalls in my career and, and I picked myself up and, and learned from them and uh, made myself a better fighter. Now, you are, you are you totally a, a girl who, like, you just, 
I, I just try to base my comedy on your fighting career. You you never go away. You just you're like fuck, <laughs> fuck it. You're like okay, I'm I, I'm losing there. I can't get in the tough house. No worries. You come you become the Invicta champion. You're just a girl that you just. You're, you're so, you have so much tenacity, Tanya, and you're so inspiring, and you're a nice person. I know some people will disagree with that, but, uh, but me knowing you, uh, you're, you're a super nice, and you've got a huge heart. Uh, and and, you're, and you're, you're, your mom saw me on TV in Kansas City, by the way. Uh, so, <laughs> but um, is the plan on this fight, because it does seem like everybody who gets into a fucking, you know, rock'em, sock'em robot with, with Cyborg loses – and you've been five rounds a lot, especially in your last couple fights. Are you going to try to tire her out, grind her against a cage, use your wrestling, take her to the later rounds? Man, I, I uh, win fights with my style. And, you know, obviously she wins fights with her style. But I think that, uh, you know, I'm a completely different fighter than, than she's faced and, and probably the same with her as I face. But, uh, you know, I think every girl comes out there and tries to, knock my head off, but, uh, you know, they just aren't that great. So I, I, uh, you know, I think I'm just a smarter fighter in the long, in the long haul. after the rounds are over and stuff, I'm winning every minute of every round. And, and that's the way I think about it. And I'm always trying to finish people and I'm always putting that pressure on and I'm always fighting back. I think that a lot of her opponents have been on the defensive side when they go in there. So, you know, I, I don't play, I don't play that game. I don't want to get beat up. Nobody wants to get the shit beat out of them. I mean, come on. I don't go in there to get, get punched on and then maybe I'll punch you a couple of times. You know, that, that's just not the type of fighter I am, but, uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, we're fighting in two weeks, so there's really, uh, you know, she did block me on, on Twitter. Did you know that? I did not know <laughs> wow. that. That's, that's bullshit. Yeah. What's up with that? Over the weekend, over the weekend, uh, there was somebody, there's somebody with a little fake account and, and obviously I think it's her boyfriend and, and, uh, people are like, no way she hates Tony Ferguson and, and he's friends with Tony Ferguson, or that count is. Well, no shit. It's a fake account, people. How stupid are you? You don't think like, she, that she, yeah, she speaks perfect English? So, you know, this guy, whoever it is, just talks mad shit on every one of her opponents. And obviously, I think I thought it was him, and I still think it's him. But anyway, uh, she came on and said that ain't him. And he got super defensive on that as soon as I called him out. And then he started saying that I said all this other stuff. And I'm like, well, where's the, where's the tweets that I said all this stuff? Like, show me what you're talking about, because they're nowhere. And then all of a sudden, I realized that... Uh, she blocked me, and you know it is what it is. I don't. I don't give a shit. I mean, we're fighting in in two weeks, so I mean, it's whatever. So whatever, ta- man. Tanya, Tanya, <laughs> um, the behind the scenes distractions like this with the the Twitter and the blocking and all this kind of stuff, has that ever affected your performance? And how do you feel to, uh, going into this fight with Cyborg? Uh, I think that people think it does. Um, if you watch every time I fight, you got these turd balls coming on and and talking shit to me and telling me all this stuff. And every time I'm going to lose and I'm fighting the greatest fighter in the world and I'm about to get my ass kicked every single fight. And I think people are so dumb and they believe all this hype and they see a pretty girl and they think that, oh, she's got some Muay Thai. She's going to kick Tanya Andrews ass. Well, man, I, uh, I just want them to know that I sacrificed the look of this body for performance. That's why I look this way. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, whatever, man. I don't feel muscle like them, but I, I guarantee I'm just as strong or stronger than most of the girls out there. So, um, I don't know. No, it doesn't bother me at all. It kind of keeps me entertained and, and distracts me. And, and some people get on there and be like, Hey, shouldn't you be training? Shouldn't you be focusing on this? Well, why don't you shut the hell up? Uh, I don't train 24 hours a day, obviously. And, um, I'm not a punk, man. I'm not going to sit here and let somebody bad mouth me online without saying something back. I don't give a shit if they all jump on me afterwards and call me all these disgusting names. I'm still not going to let you say something without saying something back. That's just how I am. That's so. what we love about you. you know, no, the, whatever. The, 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 fight's at, the, the fight's at 145. Where do you walk around at? Uh, I walk around at 165. Okay, good. Okay, so it's actually better for you at 45. Yeah, I mean, it's a, I was already on my way down from uh, for the Invicta fights anyway, and, um, you know, I kind of was uh, got down to about 55, and then they called me about this fight, and, and, you know, I've already been training in training camp hard, so... You know, my coach is like, put some weight back on, but it just doesn't happen when you're training so hard, you know. So I just I just kind of wrote it out, and i just been hanging out at 55 and trying to hold this 10 pounds on and, and uh, 
you know, just cut this last 10 pounds this last week and, and I'll be good. Now, I've met three of your girlfriends before. I met, obviously, Michelle Old. We're not going to talk about her. But then I met that little Mexican girl that came up to me in Vegas that was like, hey, I'm Tanya's old girlfriend. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I met the, the, the model that you picked up on Tinder or Grindr uh, that you came into. No, the- I didn't pick her up on anything. I met her at a gay bar. Oh, yeah, that girl. I don't girl. meet people online, guys, just so you know. Okay. I don't have to meet these girls online. I'm way better looking in person. You are. You're a very good-looking girl. Uh, you're very, especially when you put makeup up on and actually look like a girl okay but, but i'm saying yeah. so, so you know you are a very attractive girl you got those freckles and those eyes and when you actually get done up i'm like damn if if only she liked anyway so uh any girlfriends now i dating anybody no 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 i uh i have kind of told myself uh a while back when i was fighting for evicted that i'm not gonna freaking have any freaking girlfriends because obviously then that's on my brain instead of fighting. And I don't, I don't like any distractions. So, um, I don't like drama. I don't like to answer to anybody. And obviously girls need a lot of attention and I don't want to give them a lot of attention. I want to focus on my career and, and my freedom. So you haven't, so, been, you know, so it's just, uh, so you, I just do what I do. So you, you haven't <laughs> been late in how long? Have I not had a girlfriend? No. When was the last time you got, you got, you got laid? What was it? How, how, how long has it been? Oh, I'm not saying I don't have, uh, I don't, I'm not saying I don't date girls. Oh, oh I okay. I just don't, they aren't my girlfriend. Oh, okay. So you're, you're still getting some, your, your thing on, right? You're still hooking up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is still, all right. Yeah, come on. I, I got to make sure. Now, uh, <laughs> now is everybody, now are you working at all construction? Uh, no, I haven't been working for a little bit, uh, since I took that Invicta fight, I, I, stopped and uh every fight i just kind of take off and and focus on fighting i'm gonna make a payday so i don't need to work during that time and you know then i blow my whole wad in my savings account for my training camp and then i uh, turn around and fight and make a little more good i i'm so happy for you i mean i am so rooting for you tanya i i think you can do it honestly people are like you're crazy i'm like no tanya has the style and the grit and i just feel like you can you can break her no one's nobody's ever stood up to her it's like it's like the bully that no one stands up to, but I feel like you can yeah, stand think, up to the bully. I think that she just she is that, and I think that people are so intimidated and when they first go in there, man, and they're victims. They're victims right off the bat. And I'm sorry, but I cannot let somebody beat the shit out of me. I'm going to fight back. It's crazy. Now, now, Steve, what would you tell uh, Tanya if you were in her corner? I would say be sure that when you do the post-fight interview that you call out somebody or do something spectacular and make people remember you because that's your moment. Uh, the fight itself, we know what you need to do. You need to get into the clinch. You need to tangle her up and get your arms around her neck. But that post-fight mm-hmm. interview is where you get paid, Tanya. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, now, in, in, the la- in Invicta, you used to make out with the girl who was, who was talking to you. Are you going to try that with Rogan? What did she so? Uh, hell no. I, I obviously don't kiss guys, so they're all safe in the UFC. <laughs> but um, obviously, if them girls want to make out afterwards, I'm available oh, and you, single. You've, kissed, you, <laughs> wait, you've never kissed a guy in your life? Uh, yeah, and obviously I didn't like it. I'm super gay now. <laughs> You're so- Disgusted. Hey, so I went on my I went on Twitter yesterday or day four, and I said, that's it. I'm starting over on Facebook. I'm deleting all the dudes, and I'm only adding the ladies. Oh, come ladies. on. And I seriously had so many dudes, like, fine, we won't follow you. We just won't watch you. I used to be a fan, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, then delete yourself, bro. Don't follow me. And we're talking about Twitter. Not even, I was talking about Facebook, but this is on Twitter when people are saying it. And he's like, already done. Guys are so ridiculous. Yeah, but yeah, get the hell off my Facebook so that I can add more girls. Oh, like, what is on. wrong with you? Yeah, but people are so stupid. They have no sense of humor. Uh, you, you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're so funny. You're so, now, are your parents, have they finally come to terms that you're a lesbian? Or are they still waiting for you to go back to guys? Well, my brother says my mom keeps talking about maybe someday, but uh, I think I think she's hitting that uh, peace pipe a little too hard because it ain't going to happen. <laughs> There's no way I want to go back and ever kiss a dude again. It wasn't fun the first time. Wait, I know it ain't going to be again. What, wait, how old now were you? Now that I'm older, ugh, how old were you when you went back? How old were you when you kissed this dude? Um, when was the last time I kissed this dude? Shoot. Um. Well, there was this one time in college uh, where I was super drunk, and I only kissed the dude so I could kiss his girlfriend. <laughs> but, I mean, that's like a sacrifice that I was willing to take. You know what I mean? The girl was super hot. Did it work? Uh, it was just one of the things. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. So you, Hell yeah, it worked. So you kissed the guy, and then he, and then you were, he was like, you can kiss my girlfriend now? 
Well, I was trying to kiss her, but he was a little uptight, so uh, we had to, like, negotiate this. Uh, that's <laughs> hilarious. How many girls have you turned? Uh, I date pretty much all straight girls. It's weird. Like, uh, they're always straight when I meet them. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like the challenge, man. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. Them gay girls are just not as fun. You're never meeting my wife. She, my wife is not going. Yeah. My, my wife's going nowhere near you. I do not need her. <laughs> Uh, straight girls love me and moms love me. I'm waiting to pull that little hat trick, get a mom and a daughter. Obviously not at the same time, so that'd be gross, but you know, I'm trying to get a hat trick going on here. That have, do you, have you hooked up with a lot of girls that have kids? That have kids? Yes. Yes. All right. And, and did the, the, the kids usually like you? I mean, if I was a kid and you were my new dad, I'd, I'd, I'd be thrilled. I'd be like, my dad, you know, you'd, you'd like fight. And... Yeah, because I would beat up their dad. That's it. <laughs> wow. Hey, so... So I was at uh, Invicta this weekend, and uh, Laura Sanko, that, that girl I kissed on Invicta, she was having a birthday party for her son. And obviously, I'm good friends with her and her husband, you know. Um, you know, they didn't press charges, so we became friends. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was friends with them before then. Right. But um, so they invite me and the ring girls uh, to go over to their house for a birthday party. So we all, me and the ring girls and my coach and Duber over there and stuff. And I was like, well, it's about time for me to meet your son. He's got to meet who his new daddy is. Oh, that's, like, it was super funny. I don't. That's hilarious. He's got a good, her husband's got a good sense of humor. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he had to meet, he had to meet me. I mean, it's just about time. All right. So who are the top three girls at 135 and 115 that you'd like to date? Oh, shit. Or even just hook up with. You don't have to date them. You're just like top three girls. All right. Uh, Paige Van Zandt, 15. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely hump her. You'd hump her. Uh, Rowdy Beck? Yeah. Uh, no, no. I don't like uh, girls that uh, hump a lot of people or a, a look kind of have the image of, that they hump a lot of people. It kind of grosses me out. Uh, right, totally <laughs> got it. I keep saying I'm looking for that virgin, a virgin. Uh, Joanna Young virgin. Joanna Young Um, Yeah, she's cute. She's cute. Uh, Claudia, the Brazilian, she's hot. The Brazilian, come on. Claudia... Yeah, there's just something about her that I don't... Yeah, yeah, I'd probably hump her. <laughs> you, you, you probably hump her. All right, uh, what about Kat Zingano? No. No, why not? Uh, I just know her from way back, and, you know, I know her. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Uh, Sarah McMahon? Yeah, not about it. No. No. Uh, Misha Tate? No. <laughs> Come on. Julia Budd? Uh, Julia Budd. Yeah, she's cute. Julia Budd. No. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I have a thing about it. I have a thing about girls that are bigger than me, too. Okay. I don't like girls that are bigger than me. I like to be. What about the ring I girls? like to be a uh, boy Je in the relationship. Jessica Penny? Uh, yeah, she's cute. Jessica Penny is cute. I liked, her, I liked her before she had her little nose thing done. You know what? I, I think girls are better, but with their bigger noses as well. I, mm -hmm. I, like, I think that that makes them different. And then when they get their nose jobs. That, yeah. Yeah. I think that she stood out a little bit more, and I liked her. She's a little bit unique and stuff. But, uh, you know, the I, one that had to deal with it my whole life, so obviously I can't say shit. <laughs> I, 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 I totally agree. What about um, uh, what's, uh, Juliana Pena? Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd hump her. <laughs> She'd be very. You, you wouldn't date her though. Too much drama, right? She seems like a girl. Yeah, like... no, no, no. I, I would say I wouldn't date any of them girls. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, I thought we were just talking about humping. Humping. That's totally. Uh, how come? How come it's all uh, uh, USC girls? You know, Invicta's full of really hot girls. That's true. Uh, we were just talking about Jen Yu Fry, a very attractive girl. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. yeah right, Jen Yu Fry. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about um, uh, the girl that you beat, uh, Penny? Uh, Kianzad? No. 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 What about threesome? I don't with, like any. What about threesome with Tisha Torres what? and Raquel Pennington? No. <laughs> Why? Come on. <laughs> no, I wouldn't hump either one of them. Uh, Come on. Okay, all right. Uh, Let's get real. Let's get real now. I'm getting real. All right. Uh, Amber Brown? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. 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 Uh, what about Roxanne he's, Modafari? He's, She's a virgin. Roxanne Modafari has got to be, right? Roxanne? Roxanne Modafari is not a virgin. She had sex one time. Really? With who? Yeah, 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 yeah. McLovin? Japanese guy. With who? A Japanese guy. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, there's this. I would hump that like uh, uh, that girl from uh, where's she at? She won on Invicta this weekend. That Sune. Sune uh, oh yeah, the girl that won. Name? Yeah. Okay. Gonna David's daughter chick. Yeah. I'd hump her or something about her. I swear, when I talk to her, she looks at me like so hard, wants to look in my eyes. I'm like. 
or is this like like do they do that over there? Is that how they talk, or do you want to fuck? I don't know. I getting mixed signals here. I don't understand it, but yeah. <laughs> well, got it. What about the karate hottie? Come on, you'd hit that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of course. I and mean, the karate hottie. That's probably. Uh, and then uh, what about Ronda Rousey? No, no. <laughs> why, why wouldn't you hump Ronda? Uh, uh, her personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, a lot of them girls are actually questionable because of their personality. I like sweet girls, man. I I, I like really sweet, innocent kind of girls. Sometimes they're they're looking really fine, but their personality is just a complete turn off. What about Jessica? I'm sure I? that a lot of people. Jessica, who? Jessica, I? yeah. Um. Yeah, I probably hump her. You play, uh, Aspen Lad. No. No. Oh, you know who came to the girl came to my show that trains over. Uh, so there was a girl that came to my show that is in the UFC. The girl that lost to um, uh, lost to uh, uh, what's what's her name? The girl that uh. On the Ultimate Fighter, the black girl um, who's a really good striker, uh, she lost to her. Uh, who's uh, 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 she lost to Angela? Angela Hill. Angela Hill. Yeah, the girl that she beat uh, is really hot. Uh, she's super hot. Um, you know what I'm talking about? She was uh, in Invicta. She, she just fought her. She just fought her on uh, UFC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you would like her. Uh, you would definitely <laughs> like her. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find her name right now. Uh, she's got. I probably hunt both the Mex- both the Mexican girls too, Aldana and Grasso. Oh yeah, those. Are- both them. Ashley Yoder. Oh Yoder, yeah, yeah. I don't like her personality too much, but I don't know her that well. I just think she's kind of cocky, but I don't know her, so I guess I can't even make that that judgment. <laughs> well, of course, of course. What about what's your name? Um, uh, the girl, you know, talk, the girl who's always naked, uh, who fought the girl that shit herself, uh, uh, who that shit. Oh, the, Felice. Yeah, Felice Herrig. Uh, Felice seems like she has sex with a lot of people. <laughs> right. Okay. You, you, you're tough. You gotta have. <laughs> you're, you gotta have. You got a hot girl who doesn't put out. Basically, is what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want. A hot girl that doesn't put out. Oh, that's man. exactly what I want. Uh, that's that's hard. That's uh, there's not that many of them. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. That's why I'm single. Yeah. I'm holding out for, for the, the best deal. What about Betch Cahaya? No. <laughs> why? She's got a nice butt. Nice butt. She's disgusting. <laughs> she probably has a disease. <laughs> She's probably got a disease. <laughs> this is the best. She's the best. This Isn't this girl the best? <laughs> I mean, Tanya, how could you not love Tanya? The most honest human being I ever met in my entire Tanya, life. Tanya, you are awesome. Seriously. Yeah, absolutely. I know, and it's... Uh, uh, like a uh, truthful to a to a fault, man. <laughs> yes, honest to a fault. That's why people are like, I hate it, that. Bitch. It's like I have lots of haters, and yeah. probably half the girls are gonna hate me because of this. <laughs> Either because I want to fuck them or I don't. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, when you, I gotta ask because I, I don't know much about lesbian sex other than stuff I've seen on the internet. Like when you say you fuck them, like I mean, is it like you put a toy in them or you have the strap on and get behind them? Like how does it how does it work? Tell me about lesbian sex with you. Um, well, I, if I told you, then you guys would almost be on the same level as me, and I can't do that. Oh. Plus, it gets way too graphic and really? sexual, and like you guys would you guys would be banging the bottom of the table over there. No way. No, really. Come on. <laughs> oh, that, no, I don't feel... I'm, I'm not going to tell you how I, I mean, have sex with girls. What's it, wrong with you? Is it like a rabbit? Do you <laughs> use the rabbit? And just like... It's, it's like... Uh, it's magical. It's just something you can't describe. It's magical. And that's why um, they're all in love. That's why they all fall in love with you. Yeah, I get it. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, man. I, I, There's just something... Yes. I'm great about it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, all right. Well, listen, Tanya, good luck. I will be there. Okay, in victory defeat, I love you. I have a feeling you're gonna win. I'm gonna put. I'm putting money on you. I'm putting money on you. I, you know, I know you guys like to put pressure on me by saying that, but um, no, I'm just I'm saying, gonna try to win this fight. I, I tell you right now, I'm trying to win this freaking fight. Yes, you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can. You listen. Nobody has worked harder than you. Okay, and, and that's all you got to know. That that you you you've earned this spot. You've earned it. From from college wrestling to to strike force to Invicta to here to all the fights you've had, you deserve to be here, and people yeah. are and people are bringing you in because they think you're going to lose, but you're not going to lose because you always prove them wrong. Okay, so I love proving people wrong. I know, especially the men. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so good luck, Tanya. 
Good luck, Tanya. All right, thanks, guys. Take care. I appreciate it. Bye. Thanks. Respect.